Today I'm going to go over the Rock, Paper, Scissors JavaScript project from Code Academy. Number one, we're going to create a function named getUserChoice that takes a single parameter, user input. We're going to create this function using const getUserChoice equals user input. It's just one parameter, so you don't need the parentheses. And there is your function. Number two, because the user can use uppercase or lowercase, we need to use to lowercase function to make sure the user input is all lowercase and you don't have any errors. So we can actually just copy and paste this inside our function. Number three, you should also check that the user make a valid choice, either rock, paper, or scissors. And if it doesn't, it should print an error message to the console. So we're going to create an if else statement if user input is rock paper or scissors return user input else console log error please type rock paper or scissors number four we're going to test this function and see what message we get let's console log get user choice save and we get paper here but if we console log something other than rock paper or scissors let's try tree we get the error message, please type rock, paper, or scissors. Number five, we're going to create a new function named getComputerChoice with no parameters inside and use math.random and math.floor. Const getComputerChoice. There's no parameters in this function. And I'm going to create another const here so it's more clear. And that will be named const random number. So you get math.floor, wrapping math.random around times three. It's gonna go from zero to choose zero, one, two. And next, you're going to return rock, paper, or scissors, depending on the number. You can use here if else statement or switch. In this case, I'm gonna use switch, random number, case zero, return rock, case one, return paper, case two, return scissors. Number six, you're going to call this function to test it out. So I just copy and paste console.log get computer choice five times. Let's save. And there you have paper, scissors, paper, rock, paper. Number seven. Now it's time to determine a winner. We're going to write a function named determine winner. And the parameters are user choice and computer choice. Let's deal the tie condition first using the if statement. If user choice equals computer choice, return this game is a tie. Now let's go to number eight. Now let's determine a winner. To determine the winner, we're gonna start with if user choice equals rock and computer choice equals paper, returns sorry computer one. Else return congratulations you won. Number nine, write another statement for if user choice is paper. For number nine, I'm just gonna copy and paste this and change user choice to paper and computer choice to scissors. And number 10, we're going to do the same thing, but the user choice is scissors this time. And the computer choice is rock. Number 11, let's test the function. Console log, and you're going to call the term winner and select computer choice and user choice. So for user choice, I put rock, and computer choice, I put scissors. Congratulations, you won. Number 12, we're going to create a function named play game. And inside, we're going to create a variable named user choice set equal to the result of calling get user choice passing rock paper or scissors const play game and inside const user choice get user choice and select paper next create another variable named computer choice and set it equal to the result of calling get computer choice constant computer choice get computer choice now under both of these variables use console.log to print them to the console number 13 we're going to determine who won. So inside play game function, call the determine winner function, pass in the user choice and computer choice variables as its parameters. And lastly, you're going to call the function play game and see who wants. You threw paper, computer threw paper, it's a type. Let's try again. You threw paper, computer threw scissors, sorry, computer won. And last one, number 14, make this game better by adding a secret cheat code. If a user types bomb as their choice, make sure they win. In get user choice, you're going to add a fourth condition. So right after rock, paper, scissors, you're going to add user input as bomb. And in the term winner, 
you're going to add another if statement in the beginning. If user choice equals bomb, return you want bomb always wins. And then here on cons user choice, you're going to change to bomb and save. And there you go. You get the message that the user always wins.